Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. All right, send got a back. Second? Mr. Listen here. close and I'll explain. We'll redo this mission. I'm now using the Steam version of the game, the, P the PC version. I'm, I'm also using some mods. So I bought the Steam version today. So I wanted to play it over the PlayStation 3 version. Because I wanted to use some of the mods to improve the graphics and such. Set amount of the damage a unit has sustained is healed in each turn. We've already re read this previously. Yeah. So the graphics are clearly improved. We have no borders anymore in this mode. And I am using a graphical mode, I believe. See very clear picture. If you shoot them in the head, they die in two hits. Okay, let's on the face immediately. Here we go. Believe there is a darker shadow, making the models look darker than on the portraits, and then they are in battle. Face. Good, 
out. One hit kill the enemy. Missed with a few hits, uh, a few shots. Okay, we will uh, end the phase. Tans guard, Tan watch. Move uh, Belkin, the main character. Again. My turn, okay? Yeah, it was the mods that made me want to play the PC version, otherwise it would have been fine with the graphics of PlayStation 3. Try this now. Now took him out. That was the leader. Now the cinematic will happen, the tank will arrive. What's that? Sounds like a tank! Right, so you can get uh, the Val Valkyria Chronicles game, or the Valky Cro Valkyria Chronicles 1 and 4 games on Steam right now for a very cheap price. I believe the first game uh, is 70% uh, off the price, and uh, if you buy both of them it's 79% off, so I got them cheap. The offer is only until, uh, I believe, July 7th. face <coughs> Welkin tank That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. 
and try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret and it's over. All right. Victory, Velkin reaches the destination, failure, Velkin dies, Alicia dies, or 20 turns pass. Okay. We control the town guard first. But uh, let's go to the menu, system, and save the game here. We have already saved, good. See if we lose this time. We'll start right here. I won't have to start from, from the beginning of the battle. Okay, I forgot to save the last time. This guy, I think we should try to just take out troops. We automatically stop fire, firing when, when we are aiming. Out. Very good. Okay, he's done for now. It's uh, time to move a little. Okay. We reach the area, very good. I just need to go there with the uh, Vulcan as well. No, the Ready to go. button, the, the computer has a circle as uh, the, the select button, the button where I select, like on a Japanese controller, and X when I cancel. Well, the PlayStation 3 had, oops, uh, had X as select. And it's Jesus Christ! <sighs> Phew! Looks like we shook him. What are you doing from here? If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the Town Watch can do. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. Right, we succeeded. Very good. Defense of Brule, combat report. Eight results, clear bonus. Okay, total 900 experience gained, 2460. Man, okay. Uh, so, uh, we are using a graphical mod which removes the borders in battles, and we are also using a. I believe I enhanced the graphics a bit, so they are more sharp than otherwise. And um, uh, I think we are also using a gameplay mod. But not one of the total overhaul mod mods. Instead, it's one that just uh, removes some some issues with the vanilla game and and uh, add some quality of life changes. And I believe that all troops are slight, slightly better than previously, uh, even the enemy. Uh, but uh, <coughs> it should be easier for the player now. Uh, compared to previously, uh, and also in in the past, I believe that the three main characters can, uh, could never be removed from a, from the party. So if you had a squad later in the game, say you have a squad of like ten people, I don't know exactly the number you can have, but let's say it's uh, ten people, uh, then the three main characters are automatically selected, so you can't replace them. 
but in, in this mod um, the, the leader position is removed so you can re replace the main characters with others <coughs> and there were some other changes too so, so it's uh, more free I believe one of the changes um, there are like four or five secret hidden characters in the game I believe that uh, those secret characters will now show up uh, normally like an other character when, when you visit the headquarters of the game it will show up there randomly so if you visit it uh, different characters can show up and can be available for recruitment and those four to five secret characters are not available in the headquarters in the vanilla game but uh, thanks to the mod they are available there yeah, otherwise we would have needed to unlock them in some way and, and they wouldn't be easily available okay so they've been pretty much added to the normal recruitment system okay chapter two escape from brule all right we'll do that chapter two New episode has been added. Let's continue. Isara, Martha, please be okay. Martha. What's her problem? Pregnant or just fat? Who cares? Not gonna make any difference when she's dead. Stop this now! See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. And that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So, we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave, now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! Dark son pig. Isara, are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Is. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. Welks, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. A new episode has been added. Okay, so that was pretty epic. Um, cinematic there. I like that this game has cinematics. The PSP titles, I believe, have pictures instead. I don't misremember. So this is more epic, but it's a PlayStation 3 game ported to the computer now. Okay. I believe the computer version is from 2014, and, and the PlayStation 3 version is from 2008. Okay. Dad's tank! Whoa! I can't believe it's still here! And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great, too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. 
Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power-to-weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field-worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work... What's next? All right. Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school. Once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Isara, we ready to roll? Engaging engine. The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss, move out! has been added. Nice that we have a tank now. It looked even better than the Imperial tanks. Do this episode, yes. Here's the brief for this operation. Enemies squad centered around a single tank, currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. Need to defend the gate on, the, on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuation, the, eva the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, it's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. Until we can render Swiss, the rural town watch will do everything we can to keep that gate in one piece. Town watch will need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive at the tank. You'll need to use the sandbags around the starting point and gate for cover to hold back the Empire's attack. Okay, the enemy tank is destroyed, that means victory. Failure. Rule's main gate is destroyed. Belkin dies, Alicia dies, turn to turns pass. Okay, so we need to destroy their tank before Rule's main gate has been destroyed. Alright, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. Alright. Guess we'll have to save. Play your face. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. That's good. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. About sandbags and hand grenades. By moving behind sandbags and selecting crouch, Unit's defenses are maximized and extra damage for headshots is negated. Yeah, I already know about crouch. And focusing on defense or ending one's turn. It's always best to hide this way. Yeah, I know. Um, contrarily, this means that enemies hidden behind the cover are well protected and more difficult to defeat as well. This is why the hand grenade is used. Its, it's explosive power can destroy sandbags. Alright. Press the, I guess it's a different button on the PlayStation 4 controller, um, the, the, but on the keyboard it's the W button, the weapon uh, toggle button, cycle among your options to hand grenades, yeah I already used that button on 
on the, in the previous video, the PlayStation 3. This battle Elisha possesses um, yeah, you know, uh, grenades are limited in number, so use them wisely. Each player face units will recover one hand grenade. Okay. We'll save the game here. Camera is better in, in the computer. Can uh, move it f more freely. Have more angles, which you can watch. Ah, it's a uh, square button. We have B-type grenade and the Ragnall. Ragnade, we have the Galleon Rifle Okay Don't think we can take out these guys The B-type Grenade Still try it Another town watch here. Don't want to miss like that. I think we hit some at least. Okay, we're done. Don't do anything more. Face, yes. Enemy face. Failing attacking the troops. Now they might be able to 
Good. Took him out. That stormtrooper, whatever. He is. Another soldier there. Grenade against the gate, not good. Oh, he's firing on the town guy. If 
failed to take, take him out. He's looked f defense values that man. Player face. Belkin has arrived, awesome. Here is he, he's over there. Here we go! We need to move immediately. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Welks. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. About tanks. Tanks possess firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They are able to deflect nearly all gunfire from enemy foot soldiers. This makes them a solid wall for your own ground units to hide behind. Unlike ground units, however, tanks do not recover a portion of their lost hit points each turn. Tanks also consume two command points when selected in command mode. Um, relving too heavily on uh, tanks in battle will quickly lead to a fatal shortage of command points. Additionally, tanks require action points to turn. So take care to plan ahead which direction you'd like to face at the turn's end. Okay. We need to go. To the gate. This is very cool. Enemy sighted. Oh, it's a tank! It's a galleon tank! Sure is. Alicia, I'm sorry we're late. Welkin, you have a tank? We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tank sighted, Welks. Switching to anti tank combat. Armor piercing shells loaded. All right, let's go take it down. Yep, we'll take it down. Can't move anymore. But attacking will be good with a tank. Tanks have three major means of attack. The armor shells, explosive motor rounds and the mounted machine gun. The armor shells are effective against enemies covered in hard armor such as tanks. Explosive mortars will hit a broad area with a ragnite blast ideal against ground units. Mortars travel along uh, an arc. Aim for the center of multiple foes for major assaults, but be aware that ammunition is limited. Machine gun is best suited to striking enemies that are too close for the mortar. It is used to intercept incoming enemies. Press the square button to switch weapons in uh, to meet the needs of each situation. Okay. separate hit point totals. Order hit points BHP and thread HP THP. Tax to the tank's border and main cannon will reduce order hit points while uh, blows to the threads reduce uh, thread hit point. Okay. If BHP reaches zero the tank is destroyed. If THP reaches zero, AP is drastically cut. Okay. It is easier to deal damage to the threads than to the body, even with grenades. Holding a tank before taking it out at your leisure may be a strategy that's both safe and sensible. 
Glowing blue radiator plate at the tank's rear is its weak point. Or even standard bullets can do reasonable damage. Okay. Try to get behind enemy tanks for a chance to take them down while being careful not to expose your own rear to hostile fire. Okay. Okay, we're done. We can't do anything more this time. With the tank. We can still use these guys. Okay. Okay, we failed to take him out. Jesus Christ. Takes a lot of damage, that machine gunner. Okay, this guy is almost dead. We'll heal Lisha again. Thank you. Current action, of course. The one time guard left. Shit. And then we'll heal this guy. Enemy face. Minor damage sustained. Shit. Attack the air. They are still attacking the gate. That's not good. He should be able to return fire. That guy is still not dead. What the fuck? Kill him. He's still not dead. Player face. This time we will need to attack. Because otherwise we're in trouble if he takes out the gate. Shit. He didn't die. He lost the soldier. Dead. All right. My turn, okay? Yeah. Now. Not good. He's still alive. Doesn't have a lot of health. Uh, let's uh, attack with the final town guard, or town watchman. didn't die. It could be bad for the, the gate. He, he, went, he was taken out. Really bad. Don't know how much you can take. Here we go!
here. And it's there too. Enemy face. Fight, but it got badly hurt, uh, badly damaged. Shit, they are attacking the gates. We'll take him out soon, hopefully. It's hard to take out. He had a lot of help. Alicia might die. Now! He's almost down now. It's a very close fight there. Player face. So if Alicia dies, we have lost. Entering combat! Okay, of course we'll control this guy. Good, we took out the tank! Perfect! Operation complete! Ah, we didn't need to take out the guy. Yes! We stopped it! Nice work, Ys! Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin! The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time, at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! Martha had a boy! She... she gave birth in Dad's tank? Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. Good! That's fantastic! Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Three from Bro, combat report, base results, clear bonus, total experience earned 1570, and we received 4430 uh, money. We don't know the currency. New episode has been added. We'll watch it. Uh, so, Chapter 2 Escape from Bro, with home at our backs. Let's view this episode too. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher, so that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. 
I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Someday, we'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. All right. Chapter 3. Vassal Urban Warfare. Okay. A new episode has been added. We'll continue. Do this episode, yes. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgris, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Uh... Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't
don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. New episode has been added. I like the day we got in their uniforms and are at the cadet school or whatever. Uh, so... Chapter 3 Basel Urban War for Summons Live here Here Basel Urban War for Squad 7 is born Ah, nice Do this episode chess Come in Excuse me ma'am Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Ma'am, Galleon Militia Enlistee, Alicia Melchiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melchiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Baldio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yep. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welkin was in science and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randgris. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. All right, so we're at the headquarters. You can see our experience in the right corner there, and our money. Uh, so the squad barracks, command room, training field, R&D facility. It's here. Squad barracks, change equipment or view info on the members of squad 7. Let's check that first. So Belkin, Gunter, the main character. We have Alicia, Melchett. Melchiot. Okay, Scout, the tank commander. And we have Rosie, Forget Stark. It's her real name. Surname is Rosie. She's a shock trooper. We have Larso, Largo, Pot Largo Potter. This is uh, name. He's a Lancer. Okay, and I believe that we need to keep Alicia, Rosie, and Largo in the squad. Can remove them due to the mod. We need to keep Alicia until the 8A mission, mission 8A, because she is needed in that mission. Otherwise, it can't be completed. So we won't remove Alicia until chapter uh, mission 8 at least. And these guys are supposed to be in many missions, but I don't. No, I don't think they are required, but uh, I don't know, I might keep them anyway. Maybe rem remove Lord Porter. I like the look of Brigitte Star and Alicia. So. And Welkin is the main character and I want to play it uh, following the story, so I don't think we will replace Welkin either. Maybe in one mission or so we could play without him, but for the most part he will be part of the battles. Together with Alicia and Rosie. Largo, I think, could be replaced. <coughs> okay. Unit details. Ah, they have armament. Galleon 1. Max M1. And Lancar. Items 
to yeah you can end, exit the squad 7 barracks command room choose the members of squad 7 will fight in combat training field train units to improve combat ability R&D facility upgrade squad 7's equipment by developing new weaponry Ooh, mode return to book let's go to command room recruit new members It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. Okay. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. Yeah. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Next up, the shock trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. All right. After them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Okay. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. Right. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. Okay. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. Okay, cool. I need to recruit members. This is Hermes Kissinger, Melville Young, Ted Usnow, Baby, Nose Birdsword, Birdsword. Nancy Defoe, Ramona Linton, Scout. Feel like we could use her. My oh. name's Ramona Linton. Good to be on board, Welkin. Okay. 